The guy here excited about something today. I don't know what he's excited about. He's not telling us. Apparently he's got something up his skin. Cappuccino on a Tuesday morning! And we got deliveries! And we got collections! Make some shoulders! Hey! I've been very busy on the work front. I've been very busy on the spending front as well. I'm just at the van centre and I've met a fan. It's the end of the day, baby. I'm gas, bro. Big thank you to Ross. He's turned it around in literally 24 hours. Uh, so guys, it's Monday morning, just managed to print all the orders, uh, I've handed the orders down to the boys uh, and things are in full swing here at uh, KBT. So another week at the local fabric store here in Birmingham. But this week is a bit of an exciting week and you will find out why a little later on. I am heading over but I don't know whether I should uh, show you guys where I'm going. I don't really want to ruin the surprise, I just want to do a, maybe a reveal. But in respect of that, um, it is a very exciting week for me. It's been a couple of weeks of stress catching the bus giving things away there but uh, it is what it is Stanley has got his own machine it's called Stanley as well Stanley has a Stanley machine oh yeah yeah this is my personal yeah <laughs> Stanley what's happening how was your weekend yes yeah, fine it's fine hard it's fine very well yeah very well yeah good man very well right let's go on catch up with the rest of the boys see what everybody's up to Hi. Yeah. how are you bro how was your weekend? Nice it to see you. Good. Nice to see you. Bright too. and early on a Monday. Yeah. It's Another happening? Monday. Yeah. So we just got the orders. We have uh, the orders now. So I am going to start the orders. Yeah. yeah. Start cutting. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. You too. Yeah. You okay, Abu? I'm very well. Good man. Good man. Good man. I'm very well. Right, who do we have here? Mr. Mo! Mohamed! What's up, brother? How are we? You okay, good. yeah? Good to see you, good to good see you. Man. Yeah. Again, right, Nafiz, how was your yeah, weekend? Weekend, alhamdulillah, was good. It was a nice little uh, relaxing time. Time to uh, recuperate some uh, energy. I had a few uh, birthday parties, nieces ones, but alhamdulillah, yeah, good. Any more shout outs? No, no, they're all done. You sure? Well done, yeah, yeah, you didn't yeah. miss anybody out, did you? I did, I did. Huh? But yeah, I'm not going to do it again. Because <laughs> what? <laughs> then it's going to be, bro, every week they're going to be on me. One day enough. Well, go on, then who did you enough. miss out? I missed out, Inaya. Inaya, big shout out to you. She, She's like three years old. And she's like, Chachu. Big shout out to Anaya from Uncle Faris and Chachu Fis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Good luck. Right, okay, let's go and see the stitching department. Right, just taking a little walk to the back of the warehouse, to the stitching department, go and see what everybody's up to back here, see what jobs we've got in the pipeline. And yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, Uncle Farouk. How are you? Sir? How are you? You okay? I'm good man. What's happening? You doing today? I am indeed doing the filming today. Okay. At your what what we making? What we making here? Skirts. Skirts? Skirts. I feel like we've just been making these skirts all year long. Yeah, for yeah? whole years. How many skirts have you made now? This, since this, this since the start of this year? We make about two hundred. Two hundred? What a day? No, no. Two to one order. How's the Warwick Castle job going? Yeah, they will start cutting today. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm disturbing you. I'm disturbing Uncle Farouk. He's gonna make a mistake and then blame me. As I say, you you were talking to me, and that's why I made a mistake, right? So yeah. we're making these skirts. You've seen these before, um, but we're still making them. I think we've probably made thousands of these skirts yeah, by now. These skirts, um, they're actually for a, a major franchise company. Uh, I think they're a restaurant. I think it's a restaurant. Is it a restaurant? Oh right, okay. It's uh, basically a beer garden. It's an outdoor bar and grill restaurant type thing. Um, they have a, a chain of them. Obviously, we can't mention the name, NDAs and all that. But uh, yes, that's what we've been working on. Uh, literally all year, we've been working on these skirts. Unfortunately, um, Nadil is not here. Abdul is not here. And the other thing is, I just thought I'd let you guys know, Manla Armour is no longer with us as well. Uh, he's actually left. He has other commitments which have taken up a lot of his time. So unfortunately, he won't be filming or editing for KBT Weekly anymore. 
Uh, sad to see him go, but it is what it is. Things take priority in life. It is unfortunate, but uh, we can't bury our head in the sand. We've got to keep going. Um, so Nadir has taken control of the editing. Hence the reason why you may have seen on last week's vlog things have changed slightly in, uh, in terms of certain editing uh, aspects of the vlog. But uh, Alhamdulillah, he's done a very good job, uh, especially being thrown in the deep end. So well done to you, Nadil. This is a bit of an appreciation to you. I just want to take this time out to thank Armour for everything he'd done for myself and KBT Weekly. Uh, he played a big role while he was here. Um, he literally started with me uh, from the beginning and he did help me loads, you know, I've, he has taught me a lot in terms of YouTube and stuff. You know, there was a point where I couldn't even hold the camera, let alone talk to it. But yeah, I just want to big them boys up. But uh, yeah, we've got to keep going. I wish everybody the best for the future in everything that they do. But yeah, so uh, let's crack on with the day. Let's see what the rest of this week brings us. I know what is bringing me. Uh, inshallah if things do go well but other than that it's just another week at the local fabric store right okay guys so we've had this job come in for some car covers i will show you and everything is self-explanatory i'm sure you i'm sure you guys have seen this logo many a times previously so we're making some car covers for audi in teesside now they were originally made uh in china and if you know anything about anything to do with teesside that's not how you spell it it's actually been spelled incorrectly so we're going to remake them and do them properly and to be honest with you this seems to have been stuck on we'll actually heat press this on our heat press machine and get it looking right we've got quite a few covers here so you got the large for the four x four vehicles uh, and then you've got your smaller vehicles there and they also uh, deal with ducati motorbikes so there's a ducati motorbike box there as well underneath so yeah plenty happening today at kbt so when i left you this morning i went to sign some paperwork you know what's coming, baby. You know what's coming, baby. Well, anyway, we've got to send these chairs off. They were unfortunately rejected by the customer uh, because Stanley didn't actually finish the edging uh, correctly, which is not good at all, uh, as obviously we always like to keep our customers happy. So he's working on his last five chairs. Hopefully, once that's done, the customer can come and take these away. It's not all sunshine and roses. A lot of people will tell you that everything goes right firsthand, but unfortunately, it doesn't. We're realists here on this channel, um, and it's real day-to-day -day business. Unfortunately, it did go wrong, but uh, we have rectified it for the customer. Now, it's not an ideal situation to be in. Obviously, it just does look bad on you. Not to worry anyway. So, uh, we have finally got there in the end. I'll show you quickly what the customer wasn't happy about. It was actually finished like this, with the actual round dots covering the staples, um, which gave it a neat enough finish but it wasn't neat enough for the customer customer actually wanted some piping on the end like so so as you can see that has been now piped and then rebuttoned all the way around uh what the original ones were missing so bit of a misunderstanding but we've got there in the end so there's a few jobs there in the pipeline as you know they're making the skirts next door we've got the audi covers coming as well that'll get put in the pipeline stanley has got about three four other jobs no oh, we're recording my belly bro Sorry. Sorry, cuz. My bad. Uh, so Stanley has got a few other jobs in the pipeline, uh, namely the red sulfurs. He has been chasing me for the fabric, uh, but I was away in Dubai, and then last week just been mad busy as well. But I will get round to that this week, and we will hopefully be able to send them back to London, where they came from. Right, other than that, that is the end of the day. We have got another 15, 20 minutes, but I'm going to go and discuss a few things with man like cam visuals back, yeah back on the camera cams come with a whole list of things that we need to discuss going forward with the channel and with the business in general um so we're going to sit down bang heads together and sort that out and as always i'll see you guys first thing tomorrow morning sally say bye to the viewers yeah bye bye everybody tomorrow morning
orders. It's like a chicken shop. Get the order from the customer man. Give it to the boys and shout, orders. And then they quickly scramble and make the chicken burger. Cappuccino on a Tuesday morning. And we got deliveries and we got collections and this vehicle maintenance Tuesdays. Right guys, welcome back to KBT Weekly. It's Tuesday and you join me in the dispatch warehouse. But what's happening today? We've got some deliveries coming in. We've got some deliveries going out. Um, Saji's new Velux windows are here as well. Vulux, what are they? Vulux, 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 you know, the skylight windows. They've turned up as well today. Or well, I think they turned up yesterday. Um, we've got some frost protected hessian that's turned up. So yeah, and then we've got whatever is in this pallet. Let's have a look what's in this pallet. Ah, it's trim fix. The trim fix has turned up. A pallet of trim fix here. Right, okay, so what's going on today? It's vehicle maintenance Tuesdays. So both the vans going in for a service today. So I'm just waiting for Nafis. He's just took my car to get my dad a coffee. So we're going to go over to Mercedes Benz van center. It needs a service, it needs a handbrake looking into. Needs a set of rear tyres, and I think there's one other problem with it, I can't remember now. And as well as the Sprinter, we're going to drop off the Caddy, that needs a service as well. That also needs, not a new tyre, but it needs a puncher in the rear tyre. So we're going to get that tyre repaired, uh, hopefully. Hopefully it's repairable. Uh, service the van, it needs some blue, but uh, Volkswagen are going to kindly sort it out for me. So, just waiting for Nafis to come back, and then we're going to make moves out. We've printed the orders, the boys are getting on with it, uh, and there's plenty happening here today. As I mentioned, we've had a delivery come in. Uh, we've got deliveries going out. We've got three pallets here waiting to go out and we've got about six pallets waiting to come in. So we're just trying to organize ourselves. We're trying to rally the boys uh, and trying to get everything sorted. Uh, yes, Lala, we have just arrived at uh, Mercedes-Benz Midlands truck and van. We've just come to drop off the Sprinter for a service, handbrake service, two rear tires, but we'll check on them. But I did check them, they look all right, but I was told last time that they do need changing, but we'll see what happens. Just waiting for Nafis to park up the van and then we're going to head on in. Right, just got back to the office. We've dropped the sprinter off. Uh, they're going to work on that. Hopefully, they should have that back in the next couple of hours. We're just waiting for Saj to come back and then we're going to go to Volkswagen Van Centre, drop that off as well. Let's go back in, let's get on with some work and then we'll make our way to Volkswagen. Yeah, like one pilot there. Yeah. One here, one here, one there. All right. So is the weather is not good as well, there's a delivery come and it's too much roll. So I want Paris to bring in in port clip to inside to the warehouse. So then after that we can put in the shelves. So Saj is not here, so I have to use him now. So I ask him for the help and he come down. Right, so we're gonna bring these pallets in because the weather's not looking too tough and it's gonna start raining any minute. So mind yourself mate, don't wanna get run over now, do ya? That was a bit of a, a bit of a Tekken, I should say. Hinches, bro, make some shoulders. Bro. Make some shoulders! One, two, hey! Ah. <laughs> Come on, this boy, Harry Potter! Get you one day! Abracadabra! Throw it on the pallet! Right, that's it. It's a job well done. Tuesday, <coughs> KBT. Um, today, a bit understaffed today. Um, my soldier didn't come in today, didn't make it in today, mom in. So, uh, been single handedly doing what we do best. Um, everything has gone out. All the couriers have gone. Just waiting on Royal Mail, four sacks for him to take. A couple of orders left on the table, but nothing to worry about. Everything has been dispatched. So yeah, today we had to go drop the Sprinter off for a service. So uh, I had to follow Faris up with that, drop that Sprinter off. 
Give me a lift back. We've had a few pallets come in today of peach skin fabric. Um, don't know the exact metrage, but that's coming now. Uh, it's been loaded off into the warehouse, and I think the guys are just popping them into the shelf. Um, but other than that, yeah, productive day. Another day, another dollar. This is a public service announcement. This is your president speaking. Welcome back to another day. It's Wednesday and you join me at my desk. I'm just currently going through some orders, uh, listing some new products online on the website. Usual hump day really, uh, but it's not a usual day today, is it, Adil? Uh, it's a very exciting day actually today. Are you excited for me? Why should I be excited for you? I've got uh, the guy here excited about something today. I don't know what he's excited about. He's certainly doing any work. He ain't excited about work, so uh, he's not telling us. Apparently he's got something up his sleeve. Can everyone, can everyone tell us how good Saj looked with his raster tape on his head? You know, the dreadlocks. What raster tape? A raster tape. I don't know raster tape on my head. Raster man! <laughs> Go on, Is it what I'm up against? So we dropped a spinner off for a service on the brakes. Um, we didn't get it back yesterday, they were looking into it. I spoke to a lady called Michelle this morning and she told me that the parts are on back order. It's not an ideal situation because we need the van uh, for deliveries etc. Long story short, the sprinter went in, the brakes need changing, there's a couple of other bits and bobs that need doing on it. We haven't had it back yet, hopefully we should get it back later on in the afternoon. Uh, they are currently working on it, we've uh, agreed for them to carry out the work. So, as I say, we should get that back. A little later on. Now, in terms of the caddy, Saj did go AWOL yesterday, so we couldn't drop it off. But it's actually turned out good because Saj wasn't too pleased about the, both the vans going in together. So we rearranged that booking for tomorrow. Now, that van needs a service and a few other bits and bobs. So, vehicle maintenance week, as well as other things which we will talk about later on, obviously. Right, I've got to get on the deal. So uh, I'll see you later. Right guys, it's just gone 4.30 and you join me downstairs in the warehouse. Uh, me and the team are actually making our way out. And as many of you know, who do follow me on Instagram, because that will obviously get released before this. It's new car day. I'm not gonna tell you what I've got just yet. You're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to watch the rest of this video. But I'm just gonna make my way out now. I'm just waiting for my mate, who quite conveniently has just started a chauffeuring business. So I said to him, what better way to kickstart your business, right? We'll get you on the vlog and you can actually show for me to the dealership. Uh, but I'm not paying him, so it's a free job. But uh, no, um, but I wish him all the success in his business, inshallah. Uh, he's just making his way over to me now. Uh, we're gonna jump in there and we're gonna make our way over there. He's just bought a Rolls Royce Ghost. I will leave a link to all his details below. If you do need any chauffeuring jobs, do give him a shout. But uh, yeah. Let's head out and make our way over to the dealership where Hannah, the sales manager, is waiting for me. Uh, everything's been done, tracker, insurance, you name it, it's all been sorted. Uh, so let's make our way out and we'll catch you in the day. just arrived at the dealership just gonna head on in we are literally we've got five minutes before the dealership closes I can't really do too much hoo-ha on the camera but we are here we are at the Porsche dealership yes I have bought a Porsche and I'm not gonna reveal it right now we're gonna send this straight into a cinematic to the car here we go
2011 Turbo S. And we'll talk about it tomorrow because uh, right now, man's floating on planet Earth somewhere. But Alhamdulillah, that's all I gotta say. Alhamdulillah. I want to give a big shout out to all my boys, everyone who came out for the big reveal and nothing but love man but as I said man we'll chat about it first thing in the morning at the office, good night. All I have to say, and the only thing I'm gonna say, is Alhamdulillah, bro. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. May all praise to Allah for everything, yeah? All praise to Allah, all dues to my parents, all dues to my uncles for all their hard work. Uh, these things wouldn't be possible without all of the people that I mentioned, and obviously number one, Allah, his uh, barakah that he places on us. And we're blessed, man, we're blessed. I was with a friend of mine yesterday and he was saying to me, you know, us guys, we don't normally talk about these things and not everybody gets to experience these things, let alone have them. You know, they don't even get to experience sitting them. So you have to do shukr, man. Always keep your feet on the ground. It doesn't matter. You're not above anybody. It doesn't matter what car you drive. It doesn't matter how big your house is. You're not bigger than anybody. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can take it off you, especially if you're ungrateful. So never be ungrateful. So I just want to take this time, do shukr. And remember me in your du'as, guys. Anyway, in terms of work, it's Thursday. Saj, my dad, are not here yet. A few of the boys have come in. Man, not no deals here. Always on time, mashallah. But I'll be you here today. Uh, I'm just going to print the orders off and then send them downstairs. We do got to go pick the van up as well today from Mercedes. Also got to drop off the caddy to Volkswagen for a service. I know we ended the conversation with the car, but let's quickly go back to the car. Uh, number one, biggest thing, the wheels. Do I keep them gold or do I spray them satin black? Do let me know in the comments. Uh, the other thing is, I will be dropping that car off as well today for tints and front end PPF to man like Ross. But yeah, do let me know about the wheels. Shall I keep them gold or shall I spray them black? I did go and show the car first thing to my dad uh, after I picked it up, took it around the block. And I asked him, I said, what do you think, Dad? Shall I keep the gold wheels or shall I spray them black? My intention was to spray them black. Now, my dad said it actually looks nice. When I was doing the deal over the phone, over emails, and the photos were sent to me, I was like, mm, gold wheels, I don't know, you know what I mean? But I will put a poll up on my Instagram. Do follow me on my Instagram as well for behind the scenes, at 11kbt. Uh, Sad just called me. He's making his way to Volkswagen Van Center, so I'm going to go and pick him up and then we're gonna make our way back to the office. So I'm just on the way to pick up Saj from the Volkswagen van center. I'm gonna go pick him up in the Porsche. He hasn't seen it yet. But mashallah, what an interior, man. Blood red interior. I'm gassed, bro. I'll tell you straight. I don't normally get gassed over these things, but I am gassed. Right, so just arrived at Volkswagen van center. Saj has made it here before me. You see the van is parked up. Just pulled up make our way in and catch up with Saj. I think he's inside anyway, he's not in the van. But, uh, oh, here he is. Hello, Gaffa. Hello. Fancy seeing you here, bright and early. I've dropped the van off. Oh, you saw it, yeah? Yeah. All right, come on, let's go back then. All right. So I dropped the van off and we're heading back towards the office. Are you going in this thing? Are you driving? Yeah, yeah you drive. You give me your 10 pence on this, uh, Hello? on the new motor, yeah. Well, you don't need that, do you? You don't need that, do you? You like the new motor? I like the key. Okay. What we like to say is send it to the gulag. Go on, then, Why? <laughs> what do you reckon? You shoot yourself, then, didn't you? There you go. Okay. Put it to
not at all. What's this clock do then? Nothing. It's just a clock. Oh, right, okay. Well, it's a sports chrono. It's actually for the track. But I'm, I don't know. We need like to learn about these, these things. dials here, so I'm trying to figure out what these dials all do. This is, isn't it? Just about. Boot up the machine. I don't know if I can handle this thing. A bit of a dangerous machine, this is. just ordered some fabric is like maybe thousand rolls more than thousand so I have to make a shawl for them and fit them in in one one place like obviously they need it they knows where they are so if you keep in different different places then you have to look around which place they have it so I have to take shawl empty and then put that somewhere else and bring them rolls put it back in so today <laughs> making shoulder bro <laughs> so I don't need to go to gym this is my gym. Shah has just given me a lift to Smedic, to Mercedes-Benz vans. I'm going to pick up the van and then I'm going to go on a quick job. I'm going to pick up some material, kill two birds in one stone, and then we're going to head back to the office. I do got to drop off the Porsche for PPF as well and tints. So I'm going to try and make some time in the next couple of hours to do that. Right, so I've just arrived at Mercedes-Benz truck and van. Just going to head on in and go and pick up the sprinter has been ready since last night so I've just got to pay the bill and make my way back and I'm gonna go pick up some fabric as I mentioned earlier and then head back straight to KBT so I'm just at the van center and I've met a fan he goes by the name of Adam how are you Adam I'm all good thank you good man anything you want to say to KBT weekly um I'll let you know when I've watched all the videos <laughs> Working right. my way through slowly. Say again? Working my way through slowly. Good man. That's what we like to hear. Have you subscribed? I have. Yeah, that's why I like you. Right, I've made myself a black coffee. Just waiting for the service agent to come out. And then, yeah. Right, just paid up. I look for my van now. So, looking for a needle in a haystack with all these other sprinters parked around here. Where are you? Where is she? Nowhere to be seen. Oh, there she is. And I was actually considering turning around, but now there is the sprinter in all her glory. Got my paperwork and my coffee. Let's get out of here. All right, guys, just turned up to Midland Car Care here in Warsaw. Just met up with man like Ross. He's already got a couple of Porsches here. I bought the uh, 911 Turbo to get uh, front end PPF tints, and we've spoke about the window trim as well getting wrapped. But hopefully he's going to try and sort that out for me. Ross, how's yes. it going? Yeah, good mate. How are you? Yeah, well. Good, good to see you well. again. Thank you. So Ross has PPF now. Um, so M5 and the Golf R. Correct. But uh, I was introduced to this man uh, via Hamza and he's never let me down so guys all your ppf work ceramic coating yeah, where else do you do ross wrapping tinting basically all your car care stuff make sure you get down to midland car care here in warsaw tell him i sent you and he'll look after you anyway but tell him i sent you so you can give me a discount <laughs> hey ross but yeah i'm uh, just gonna discuss what we're gonna do on the car and then uh, yeah i'll leave it with him and hopefully get it back for Saturday. Remember, anything you say is recorded. <laughs> right, no worries. Right, listen, guys, I'm waiting for my lift and I'll catch you guys when I'm back on the motorway towards the office. Hello, hi, and uh, welcome to half past four on a Thursday afternoon at KBT. Um, what, what have you been up to today? Right, well, since the morning, I've been doing deliveries in Sprinter. 
Uh, you had to go collect that earlier on. To go drop off some wadding rolls. Then I had to go pick up a new job. Uh, got some quilted done. The customer was supplying the fabric. So uh, that was in Smedic. Right? Bought them, got them back. Then we had a pallet going out today as well. That's all been arranged. He came at about half past two, which was just in time for when I got back. So that's all gone. Uh, my 4G, my soldiers upstairs, giving the sample guy a hand. In terms of rolls, yeah. we've done all of them. It's quite a lot on the table, but I'm thinking yeah. it's probably best to put that on a pallet. I'm going to speak to Faris about that because there are about 10, yeah. 11 rolls, and it's probably not going to be very cost effective if you send it with a courier. But anyway, we'll sort that out a bit later. Um, in terms of orders, yeah, we're pretty so much getting towards the end of the week, so it's slowing down a bit. Everything is getting dispatched out, all the products are out, the rolls are out, parcel force has gone, and lost the time. 4.25, do you know what that means? It's not lunch time, it's a cup of tea time. Yeah, all is well, all is cup well. of tea mate, okay, speak to you in a bit. It's the end of the day baby. How are you going to talk when you didn't do no work? How are you going to drive 911 turbo when you didn't do no work? Right guys, that is the end of the day. It's been a very, very productive day today. Uh, managed to get loads and loads done. Uh, been very busy on the work front. Been very busy on the spending front as well, which obviously my father and Saj are not gonna be too pleased about. Caddy's been serviced. That's ready to go back to work. Uh, Sprinter's been serviced. Had some new brakes, uh, had some new wipers. That's now ready for some hard graft. So the workhorses are ready. The turbo, as you know, I dropped it off to Russ earlier on. I should be collecting that back in the morning. Should have the tints done and the front PPF and on the arches. It does come PPF'd from factory on the bottom part of the arches. I'm actually getting the back part where the bumper meets the arch. But long story short, that is the end of the day. I just want to give a big shout out to everybody, especially my boys who came out yesterday. Obviously, man like Nadeel as well, always supporting the cause. So big yourself up, bro. And I'll see you tomorrow for Juma. Good morning KBT Weekly, it's Juma. Just on the way to drop off some rolls. Using the car as a van again because Nafis has gone to London in the caddy. The Sprinter is out on job as well. So I've got to drop these off. I've got to get them fire retardant coated. If you go back to one of my previous vlogs, I'm not sure which vlog it was when we carried out the fire retardant test when I came out in the hazmat suit. We've just had some lunch and it's time to burn some fabric. Um, basically we've got to get this done for a customer they've asked us to do it now we can do it in-house for a basic standard fire retardant with our chemical but if it's for commercial use for example if it's for a restaurant theater bars anything like that the fire officer does need it to conform to crib 5 regulation now i will explain to you what crib 5 is crib 5 is basically the highest rating of fr you can get on a material that will cover dropping a cigarette onto the fabric uh, a match um, putting a lighter to the fabric. It covers all different aspects of how a fire would start. With our chemical, uh, it only conforms to a cigarette and match. So if you was to drop a match on the fabric or if you was to drop a cigarette on the fabric, it won't obviously catch fire. Although it does, it, although, although it, although it, although it does serve the same purpose. Come on, Eddie, don't laugh, man. I'm you know, struggling and that. Now you're shaking the camera. Although it does serve the same purpose, as you know, we carried out the test on a fabric that we, we sprayed the chemical on here and we blasted a blowtorch at it and it still didn't catch fire, as you know. The regulation is there for a reason, uh, but that's what the customer does. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so after I've dropped this off, uh, I'm going to go pick up the Porsche from Midland Carcade. The car is ready. Big thank you to Ross. He's turned it around in literally 24 hours. Tints are on and the front end has been PPF and the car has had a full ceramic coat. I'll catch up with you guys when I'm at Russ's on the GoPro. All right guys, managed to deliver the rolls. I've just made my way over to Midland Car Care. Just come to pick up the Beast. I've had it ceramic coated and PPF'd on the front. 
and also we had the tin stone. I don't know how it comes across on camera, but yeah. Right guys, so it is Juma uh, in about half an hour time, so I'm gonna shoot off from here. I'll catch up with you guys probably back at the office. But yeah, man, martial arts looking absolutely stunning. Big thank you to Russ from uh, Midlands Car Care and also Mohammed from MK Tints. Done an absolutely stunning job on the car. We'll go around it when we're back at the office. As I say, I'm getting late for Juma, so I'm gonna head out now. End of the week, as you can see. Just getting out like, the last orders for the customer that day. I am on my holidays after today, so pretty much excited to get <laughs> to get the week over and done with. And that's the I to be honest with you. But I will be back in two weeks. And hopefully guys, I'll get all your orders out for you on time. <laughs> Not a problem. But for now, it's good night. <laughs> it's going to be very tough because uh, Mo's going to be off for two weeks. Which means uh, I'm going to be handling the fort by myself. Vida Rosa. So do dua for me, everyone, please. Do dua. I'll need it. But yeah, other than that, have a blessed Ramadan, all the KBT followers. Make sure you share, like and subscribe, all them things. And uh, yeah, don't eat too much kebabs and burgers. Look after yourself guys. Signing out. Hello guys, how are you all? And I hope you enjoyed the KBT weekly. Best of luck for the Ramadan. Pray a lot and eat less. Thank you. So it's that time of the week again where I say goodbye to you guys. It's been a bit of a special week, alhamdulillah, as you know, we've purchased the 911 Turbo. And more importantly, Ramadan is starting tonight. So I just want to take this time to wish all my viewers, all my friends, all my family, all of KBT Weekly, everybody that knows me and everybody that doesn't know me, a big, big, big Ramadan Mubarak. I hope you all have a blessed month. I hope it's fulfilled with righteousness, successfulness, and plenty of smouses. Uh, anyway, Ramadan Mubarak. Guys. Science is talking about fasting and how important this thing is now for your health. So to all the viewers out there, please watch a documentary. It's called The Science of Fasting. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made obligatory for us fasting and why it is very beneficial for our health not only spiritually but mentally physically in every aspect so it's very important that we actually keep to the guidelines of fasting rather than over indulging ourselves and overeating ourselves uh, so please try and cut down on the food as much as you can make plenty of duas plenty of namaz which is one form of an exercise and also the fasting itself i can assure you you will benefit greatly plenty of duas inshallah and uh, ramadan mubarak